Hey everyone, my name is Paul Stockett. I'm the head age group coach of Fish Aquatics. We're located in Lafayette, Indiana, uh, which is right across the river from Purdue University, which is where I ended my swim career. Uh, so we'll talk about that more here in a second. Um, and you might be wondering why I'm holding up swim caps. So I'm here to talk to you today about the relationships that you guys can gain through sport and in my case specifically aquatics. Um, so my career started out uh, across the state from you guys in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania um, as an eight year old just swimming 25s one lap of the pool, struggling, not doing super great, um, but fell in love with the sport and then continued it all the way up through. Um, I was fortunate enough when I was about 12, I think I qualified for my first all-star zone team, uh, which was the Middle Atlantic zone team. It's the Philadelphia region. Uh, so it's the eastern half of Pennsylvania, southern New Jersey, and all of Delaware. Um, when I was on that team, I was fortunate enough that uh, everyone's given two of these caps. Um, some years they're just red like this. We have some blue ones and some white ones, but everyone's given two of them. And the older kids on the team taught us when you get on them, you wear one, you compete in one, uh, hope you don't rip it, it's only a four day competition. Um, but then you take your other one and you trade it. So the zone meet we, was the entire Northeast. Um, so we competed in Buffalo mainly, um, but we competed against kids from Maine all the way down to Virginia, out to Pittsburgh. Um, so you'd go and when you'd race somebody, or you would find somebody on their team that you were you would make friends with. You would trade them a cap or trade them another piece of apparel, kind of like how football players in the NFL swap jerseys after games. So this is kind of like our form of a jersey. Um, so I was really fortunate that the older kids taught us how to do this, and that is kind of tradition. And it's a tradition that stuck with me. Um, now I've been doing it since I was 12, and then I've collected I believe I have 235 now from about 20 some states maybe 25 27 somewhere in that range um, and like six or seven different countries uh, so this was my first one from a different country uh, it's an elite team cap um, from Canada so I actually got this um, down in Baltimore I was down at Michael Phelps's home pool North Baltimore Aquatic Club uh, Meadow Brook Swim Club and there are two Canadian teams there. And I thought that was the coolest thing. I was like 13 or 14. Um, I was getting to compete against people from another country. Uh, so I went up to one of them and really hoping that I could communicate with them because I knew they're from the French speaking part of Canada and I was fortunate they knew English. Um, and I was able to uh, trade swim caps with them, give them one of mine from my club team in Philadelphia and get this elite team cap uh, from them and then just kind of continued that tradition on and then when I finally got to college didn't have quite the same opportunity to trade caps as much or um, really get caps from other places except I had a lot of teammates from other countries and other states so I was able to have them help me out and add to my collection um, it was really neat when I first got to Purdue and walked on pool deck and there were four different languages being spoken on pool deck at once. Um, for us it was English, Spanish, French, and Slovenian. So Slovenia is a country in Eastern Europe uh, where one of my teammates was from and he ended up being captain uh, my sophomore year. Uh, but his name was Jan. So he gave me a Slovenian national team cap where he's on the national team for a few years before college. Um, Jan was just a really great mentor to me. I unfortunately had to end my career due to a shoulder injury and Jan, who had previously been through a shoulder injury himself, was able to really take me under his wing and support me during that. Um, so the relationships you build through sport really creates this great support system um, that doesn't matter where you are in the country or in the world in some cases, uh, that is able to really keep you going, make sure you're staying on the right path and really help you out when things get tough like if you have a injury or if you're just trying to uh, take things day by day right now with the pandemic your support system that you gain through sport really helps you do that um, so I'd encourage all of you to stay active stay involved in sport 
or music, any extracurricular activity really, and develop those relationships, develop that support system, and develop those lifelong friends. They really mean everything to me, and I know to many others as well who've gone through that same pathway uh, that I've been fortunate enough to take. So that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you guys are enjoying that camp. Thanks, and see you soon.